big man was feeling sad. Everywhere he looked, he could see engines and coaches moving steadily forwards. They all looked confident and cheerful. One day, he decided to talk to Oliver, the great western engine. I'm always going backwards, Mr. Oliver. I have forward-thinking views. I could be a leader, if you know what I mean. You can't be a leader without a train to follow you. You don't have a train, Gordon said. Toad felt sadder still. Oliver wanted to help. You're a very useful brake van, Toad. You help me brake, and you keep my freight cars in order when we go down hills. I know, Mr. Oliver, but it would be so exciting to go forwards for a change instead of only seeing things sliding away from me. The freight cars were crossed with Toad. Who's he to start complaining? He's lucky to be able to look after us. Let's teach him a lesson. decided to carry out their plan when they reached Gordon's Hill. When they were nearly at the top, they played their tricks. Ready, steady, go! And they jerked at a coupling, which broke. We're making your wish come true, Toad! Follow the leader, yelled the freight cars. Toad was still in a state of shock so he didn't know what to think, and he couldn't ask the conductor. He had jumped clear. Faster, faster, as fast as you want, screamed the freight cars. Suddenly, Toad found it fun, but the fun was soon over. A crossing lay ahead and the gates were closed. Toad couldn't stop. Worse still, Toad now realized he was on the wrong track. There ahead was Gordon. The signalman changed the points just in time. On, on, faster, cried the freight cars. Suddenly, he saw James pulling a long, slow train. Oh my goodness! Help! Save me! A quick-thinking shunter did, just in time. What was that? exclaimed James. The signalman warned the station master at the next station. There's a runaway coming. We'll send him into the sidings. Help! Help! called Toad again. Toad saw some buffers. Those will stop me! But the points to the buffers weren't set. No, no! I'm back on the main line! Meanwhile, Oliver was racing to the rescue. I must catch Toad. I must! Toad sped past Henry. More danger lay ahead. Men were working on a bridge, but they had been warned about the runaway Toad and his freight cars. They diverted him onto old sidings, straight into a muddy pool. <laughs> Stopped at last! Oliver arrived, and when he saw Toad, he could only smile. A pond is the only place for a Toad, I suppose. That night, Toad spoke to Oliver. I'm sorry, Mr. Oliver, if I caused you any embarrassment. That's all right, Toad. So what do you think of going forwards? It was fun, decided Toad. But from now on, I'll be happy to look forward to the future, busy going backwards, so to speak. <laughs>